Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into the Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to talk about something that uh, I discovered really early on in my days of, of uh, 3D printing and it's become one of the simplest but most effective tools to use for leveling the bed. And the reason we're talking about this is because most people when they get their printer set up, uh, <laughs> tell me if this sounds familiar, uh, they go to level the bed and the instructions tell you to find a piece of typing paper or copy paper or whatever to, uh, to, to use as a, a tool to set the gap between the nozzle and the bed, right? Well, the problem with a piece of typing paper or copy paper is that the material is compressible. So the first time you go to use it between the nozzle and the bed, it's going to be compressed and then it becomes much less effective as a tool to measure that gap because it's compressed, right? You need something that's not going to compress, right? So much better, I have found, than typing paper, copy paper, or anything like that with all of their inconsistencies is simply to get a set of feeler gauges is what they're called. You can get them from uh, Harbor Freight or online on it. I'm not going to mention any names, but you can get them online or you can get them at a local store or wherever. I did already mention one name, sorry about that. But uh, feeler gauges, feeler gauges are what you want to use. They come in sets of, I don't know, probably a hundred of them in there at least. But uh, the one that I'm using here is great for my uses. Now I'm printing in PETG and I'm printing on an 80 degree bed uh, right around uh, 255 degrees C. Uh, and this is what I'm using to, 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 uh, to set that gap and it's 0.002. 0 0.0025 inches or 0 0.06 millimeter is, uh, is what I'm using myself. Now, I've used others in the past. You know, if I was having problems with uh, adhesion to the bed and I needed it to be a little pushed a little tighter against the bed, you know, I decrease the, uh, the gap a little bit. So I use a little thinner feeler gauge. But the nice thing about the feeler gauge is that you can regulate the gap simply by regulating the feeler gauge and the feeler gauges are extremely accurate. They're accurate to fractions of a millimeter, right? So once you figure out what works best for your particular situation with your settings and your material and your, your heat settings and so forth, you'll know which ones are going to work for you right off the bat. And the other advantage of using this as opposed to a piece of paper is again, it's not compressible. So you'll go to use this and every single time you use it, it'll be fine. It's not going to be damaged by the heat from the nozzle. It's not going to be damaged by compressing it. It's not going to be damaged by excess filament uh, that's stuck to the bottom of the nozzle. That's another thing I've seen happen uh, myself when I first started. I'd go to put the paper in, but there was a little bit of uh, filament still stuck to the end, and that completely throws off the feel that you get when you go to slide the paper back and forth. Well, this, this tends to give you a little, you tend to know, let me put it this way, when you use this tool, you'll know that filament is, is stuck, that that's causing the resistance or the feel that, you, you'll get a feel for it after a while. You can tell when it's metal from the nozzle that's pressing against this or whether it's plastic pressing against this as you set your gap. So, great tool. Uh, again, you'll get a whole set of them. I, <laughs> I took this one out of the set. Uh, to use it at the printer, so I hope I never need it for anything else. But if I do, I'll know where it is, I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, pick up your set of these. They're probably 7 or $8 for an entire set, and uh, you'll probably use one out of the 100 that they give you. So uh, there you go. That's my tip for the day. 0 0.0025 inches, 0 0.06 millimeter is the one that I've been using for my needs. So hope that helps you. If it does, please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that little bell down there so you can get notifications when I come up with another useful video. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.